I'm not a military expert. I have no access to classified information. I'm not in a position to comment on whether maintaining an Israeli military presence along the Philadelphia corridor should be a deal breaker for the return of the hostages or not. But I think we should consider the following. In Parsha Shoftim, the Torah mandates the creation of judges and enforcement officers. Shoftim v'shotrim titen l'cha b'chol shorecha. You shall place judges and officers in all your gates. Why is it necessary to have both judges and enforcement officers? Why couldn't the judges also be the enactors of its enforcement? If a judge had to carry out his own verdict, there'd always be a possibility that his sympathy might bias his judgment. If judges had to be executioners, I'm not sure how many judges would give the death penalty, even if that was the correct and appropriate ruling. Justice and its enforcement must always be separate. A judge must rule only according to the law without prejudice or bias or sentiment, and a law officer must have the single-minded conviction to implement that judgment. Judaism sees life as priceless. Islam sees life as worthless. To a Muslim, nothing is greater than to die as a shaheed. Judaism sees life as priceless. Tens of thousands take to the streets to protest the loss of six martyrs. As I said, I am no military expert, but in our current situation, I think we should be extremely careful not to let overwhelming emotion and appropriate empathy sway our duty as shoftim, as judges.